Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where, well, the uh, very difficult <laughs> German campaign continues. We now have access to 16-inch Mark I guns, which... and cryptography. Cool. It's not the most useful thing in the world, but we have two... Oh, Jesus. Two huge battles, and then a battle which is tiny. <laughs> Again, is this... Who is it? Oh, my word. The Yorick, again, deciding to go and take on an enemy battleship by herself. Again, outside La Havre. Again. Well, we're going to have to do that one first, don't we? <laughs> Hello, Malmenia13. Uh, sorry, the chat is in emote only just now. Uh, it will be turned off shortly. Do not worry. Um, <laughs> alas, poor Yorick. <laughs> well, hopefully not alas... Because, uh, but uh, it's bloody typical, isn't it? <laughs> She's like, yes, I'm repaired. <laughs> Fight. It's, no. Bad ship. Bad. <laughs> well, we know that those British battleships are nothing to sneeze at, but they do have a vulnerability, and that is going kablooey if you shoot them in the front. Um, but uh, will lightning strike twice? Bloody hell, look at that. Almost a keel coming out of the water. Um, will the Crom Prince here... Uh, sorry, this is not the conference, it's the Yorick. Uh, be able to get another ship kill. She's still a cadet crew, by the way, which is hilarious. Um, you, you don't gain XP in battles as much as I think maybe you should at the moment. And there was talk originally of uh, crew training limiting you at trained. Um, rather than being able to just sit in port and train all the way up to veterans, which would be cool. Rather than, you know, ev by the end of the campaign, every ship you have being a veteran. Yeah, they're coming in at us. First hit. Going to have an over pen. Hmm. Couple of partials. Pile of miss. Right, emote only coming off for uh, Twitch chat. Now you're following the target. Adjust, adjust. Now we're getting too far away now. Dreadnought herself. Stop training the target. Fucking just your guns. There we go. Right in the right spot, but uh, didn't connect. Yes, the Yorick is repeating the same battle in the same place against a different ship.
I know that captain needs a serious talking with. But how are you supposed to stop him being a hero of the German Empire for sinking a British battleship one-on-one? -on -one? Interesting thing about the uh, Dreadnought here. See her firing AP just now. She, she's loaded on uh, standard ratio. She's the same number of HE and AP shells at the start of battle. Which, for a battleship, is an interesting choice. Oh my god, I just missed it. <laughs> I cut away. I heard it in the background. Again, a turret, I think, has blown off. Yeah, I am, Toby. I absolutely am. That's coming with 106, though, where you're playing a long, a proper long campaign, where you know you, you build up your fleet over many, many years, uh, and tech's going to be really way more important. On the job training, yeah, I know. Right, they are now running away because <laughs> their turret blew off. Let's chase. Let's turn this bad boy around. But yeah, look, look at that. That's almost pla that's almost like they were trying to do it <laughs> again by hitting that same spot uh, on the uh, enemy ship. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they remembered, which is very cool. I think there's more to do with the fact that the positioning of the ships was very similar, but we can roleplay it that crew of the Auric well practiced now. Know exactly where to shoot. Right there. Could not taking a lot of water. Keel under a turret completely blown out. Obviously very little ammunition left as well. It does have some. But, yeah, that flooding hit. That's going to do her in. My word. That ain't so good for uh, the British. That is not so good at all. Hmm... <laughs> yes, campaign. Indeed, campaign. Um, I might as well repeat it because I haven't uh, in this episode for the YouTubers, YouTube folk. Uh, this is Germany 1920, legendary difficulty, um, but as well we are we have limits. So 40,000 tons for our battleships um, was the displacement limit. And there were limits on cruisers, but it didn't build any. So that doesn't matter. Because the war has started and I'm free to break it. Right. We have two more fights. We have Helgeland, Posen, Scharnhorst, Moltke and Prince Albert defending a convoy. Jesus. Against renowned Lord Clyde and Thunderer. Okay, we haven't seen the uh, British battle cruisers yet. They're very cheap. Uh, 28 knots. So... Slower than ours. It's good. With four triple 14-inch guns. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, and a pair of torpedo tubes. One of their heavy cruisers. We haven't seen those yet. No torpedoes. So you don't have to worry about them too much. Oh, my goodness. So when I was saying I didn't stick to the cruiser limits, it looks like the Brits have, because it was 15,000 tons, and they're at... 15,384, which is pretty close. And 8-inch guns max, which is exact... 8-inch eight guns, not 18, Jesus. Uh, which is, is what they've stuck to, which is kind of cool. Um, does their light cruiser fit? No. They've cheated on their light cruisers. And a destroyer. Okay. Let's go.
Yeah, I know, you're an MVP despite orders from High Command. Now, th this, I don't mind. Like, this is a convoy very close to shore, you know, against a big fleet, and you're going out as a group. Fine. But, um, yeah. I don't know what the Auric is on. Okay, there are transports. Okay, so Prince Albert, Al Albert, and the Helgeland, Posen and Schadhorst. Forming a, a very picturesque line of battle. Hmm. Gosimo, how goes the war? The war is uh, very fresh, um, but so far it is going okay. We have sunk two battleships, a couple of heavy cruisers, and some destroyers so far, basically. Um, so not very much. And uh, yeah, now we're now defending this convoy against a rather large enemy fleet, who we are yet to spot. Okay, enemy in sight. Battleship. Yep. Okay, we need to cover the retreat of the transport. So, battleships come like so. Battle cruisers. Uh... Actually, keep going for a bit. Go this way. Because there will be smaller ships out there. So I'm going to split the ships up. Battle cruisers one side, battleships the other. It's like they're going that way, which is interesting. Pens. I think we hit something else. <laughs> okay, small ship sighted. Small ship delete. That'll be a light cruiser. Damaged, but not sunk. Turn around. -da 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 -da. That's good. Manchester didn't get a top off. Has been roundly shot up. Oh, we've got an idea on the battle cruiser. Worth having a look at her then. Hmm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> that is not good armour. That is not good armour at all. Have you also gone cordite? Yeah, cordite, pickrick, heavy shells. Fucking hell. That is just a... That is just a... Explosion factory. Battle cruisers. Um, let's see if you can take out the Lord Clyde with your mains. Battleships. You are doubling back. That's good. Are you still trying to kill the Manchester? There's some torpedoes. That's good work. Good work. Yeah, 
very explosive. Battleships concentrate on... Well, actually, no, we don't care about the Orlando that much. Let's see if we can kill the Galatea. Still haven't seen the other um, light ship. From what she was called. Uh, there's definitely a destroyer around. Renown, the battleship. Still trying to blow up the Lord Clyde. Ow. Pen and flooding. Yeah, we're being hurt. Blood duff. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lord Clyde <laughs> exploding. <laughs> I did say. So that looked pretty bad. <laughs> that is not enough armor for that much explodiness. Uh, she's still alive, I think. Yep, still alive. But uh, severely weakened after losing half of her turret. Moving in. Does uh, Lord Clyde have any ammunition left? No. Can probably ignore the Lord Clyde then. For now. Oh, Nymph. You fired torpedoes at some point. But you're out of them now. I if that was the salvo I saw earlier. Like Cruiser's back. Manchester. Kill it. survives. Hopefully it will not. Oh, Renown. Fuck. Getting quite close there. Don't want to take on a battleship up close. In particularly. Yeah, Moltke getting absolutely wrecked. Turn around. Get out. Taking torpedoes or anything, have you? No. There we go. Good hit back on the Thunderer. Moltke, much better angle now. destroyer out of nowhere. Fortunately it's the one that has fired its torpedoes. Manchester finally sinks. Galatea needs to die next. It's not what I want to see. Good damage, but not a kill shot yet. Good hit. Five torpedoes. Dun, dun, dun. That will end the torpedo threat. 
one Skeletor sinks. Once the torpedo threat is ended, then we can move in and cause some damage. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, hello. Thunderer has torpedoes. I keep forgetting that. Posing well out of position. Might run into a torpedo. I hope she'll be okay. Sharnals might get it, but probably not. Thunderer, though. Getting wrecked in short order. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Yes, battle cruisers confirmed to be highly explosive. Or the British ones, anyway. How's Moltke doing? She's okay, actually. Licking her wounds a bit, but otherwise all right. Orlando, less so. Hello there, uh, Kalan. Uh, yes, uh, 1920 campaign. Down goes the Orlando. I need to be careful with the Prince Albert. She doesn't get wrecked by renown here. It was a little bit close for comfort. Yeah, like that. Still, taking a lot of damage, it's what I don't like. We are sinking the enemy ships effectively. Down goes War Spike. Sorry, War Spike. Overpend. It's annoying. Oh wait, Lord Clyde's still over there. God damn it! Can't forget her. But uh, need to kill off Renown for now. She's actually an active warship, much more of a threat. But I might actually start sending the Prince Albert over that way. Even though she is damaged. Yeah. Exactly. Cumbrian, great minds think alike. Is terrible. I think Renown's trying to go after the. Mo no, she's not. She's going after the Prince Albert. But I thought she was maybe going to try and go after the Moltke. Okay, goodbye to the destroy. Ow. Rude.
There we go. Ah, ah that didn't miss. Ammo debt. <laughs> oh my word. Cordite and Dunite. Just why? Just why? <laughs> and again, I think that was a hit on the. Uh, was a hit on the. It's this one, I think. Hit on the A turret magazine, <laughs> or similar. It's just yeah. Don't 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 put your don't put your guns out main guns outside your citadel. Just a bad bad plan. <laughs> Have all of the British battleships had their ammo debt? No, one had a flash fire. <laughs> Um, yeah, one, one of them had a flash fire uh, and died that way. Uh, the Lord Clyde, which is the one that was running away, shouldn't be too far away. Shouldn't be too far away. But uh, weirdly, I'm going to end the episode here. And we'll pick up when we find her uh, in episode three. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.